Good morning, webheads. Look who's here with me today. What's up? Yes, we are going to MegaCon. Are you excited? I am very excited. You can hear by the sound of his voice that he's super excited, but he really is excited. But look what we got first thing in the morning. We got Mickey D's to kick off our, our uh, breakfast here and uh, to get fueled up. We're gonna have to park in some weird parking garage, but it's gonna be an exciting day. Hopefully I can show you the floor and some of the things that I get and all kinds of other stuff. So next time we'll check in with you is when we actually park. So uh, have anything to say? No. Nope. He just wants to eat. I want to eat. We'll see you guys in a minute. What's up guys? We made it, we parked. <clears throat> and now we're walking to the convention center. You get to see people behind me. There's obviously people in front of me. So it's a little bit of a walk, but we'll get there. Next, next little clip I'm gonna show you is once we walk into the convention. So we made it inside after a like two mile walk. It was a lot further than I thought it was going to be, but we made it in. It's nice and AC here. The show opens in a half hour. We got our badges. We're set to go. Doors are open. Half hour early. Yeah, yeah. baby. We're super excited. The amount of people are here are insane. Amazing Spider-Man 300 foil. So much. Enjoy the rest of the time. Thank you again. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Yesterday was on with our dress up day, so we didn't really get to the show. Okay, so that's slabs right there. Holy cow.
DSM 300. Seems like a nice one now. Like, mine got pinged. That would be awesome to add to my Angela collection. I have seven of them. <laughs> that would be cool though, that one signed so much money though. And it was a little bit weighty. He said, hey, you want to show up for it? That's still a camera. Lenticular cam, yeah, lenticular cover, awesome. It's like what, like almost a tank? It was great, but man, with the signature probably the more. Yeah. I'm so thrilled. I can do That's cool. Your price is reflected well on that, on that, I looked at a bunch of 194s yesterday, and everybody has an overpriced for what, what GPA, so that's really spot on. Very nice. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Oh, that's cool, Dr. Doom, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's so cool. Aquaman, no one cares about Aquaman. Yeah. Well, I'll look over here real quick. What was that Sandman issue? Oh, there's a lizard. I didn't even see this one. Oh, that's cool. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's that sweet. There's a lot of fantastic. Since I can't buy this, I just thought I wanted to share this with you guys. So this is a set from Comics Elite, Brian Brown. And you get all these books in this set. That's pretty awesome right there. Really cool stuff, and you get to pick your box. Braden's looking at swords. Are you gonna buy a sword? Uh, probably not. Probably not. See. Yeah, yeah not I think sure. he might. I think this is maybe not this stand. I'm sure there's other stands too. Also, don't forget. It's getting busy. Look at this. Woo. These are cool. So we're taking a break. We've been walking for like now, what, how long? Four hours or something. Yeah. What do you think so far? It's really cool. Yeah. We met, we met a famous person. Yeah, we met a famous person. It's one of the guys that writes uh, Born of Blood. He recognized who I was. Got a bunch of free naughty covers, you know. So it's good stuff. And now we're eating some pizza. So, yes, you know, con food. What can you expect? But we are in a comfortable spot, so I'm totally excited about that, right? All right, so we're gonna take a break and then eventually we'll be back.
So this is just to show you how busy it is now. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. We're just gonna look at the sea of people. We're in line buying a sword. <laughs> That's what we're gonna buy. <laughs> All right, so we are headed out. Uh, Brayden, what did you get there? I got a sword. He got a katana, which is pretty awesome. We had a great time. It was awesome. I met a lot of, not a lot of people, some people that knew me. Mutant Beaver Comics uh, guy, Patrick. I met him there. We had a nice little chat. So it was a great experience. Once we get in the car, we'll show you what we got. So now we have to make the trek back to the car. Two our miles. legs, our legs are so dead. We've been walking for seven hours. We took like a twenty-minute break for pizza, and that was it. So, all right, here we go. All right, we are done. We walked like two miles to the car. We made it into the car, and then we couldn't show the, you the stuff because the parking garage was too dark. So we had to go park at some like Hooters or Denny's <laughs> or wherever we're at right now. So that's where we're at. But overall, did you have a good time? It was amazing. That's right. Uh, awesome time. Like I met Jim Shooter. I met uh, Drew from Comics Elite. He watches my channel, and he was so happy about me promoting Born of Blood for him and uh, we had a great conversation. I met Patrick from Mutant Beaver Comics, the sponsor of the channel, uh, which was awesome. He, I just came out of the bathroom. He's like, Mike, and, you know, we talked there. Uh, and like I said, Braden got a samurai sword. This sword is from, where Braden? Kill Bill. Yeah. Right? So like legit real stuff right here, man. Like, look at that. That is some sick stuff right there. He thought about buying one last year, didn't do it, but this time he wound up doing it. So we had an amazing time. So here's the stuff that I picked up, backpack full stuff. I made a, uh, a purchase at the end of the con that I didn't plan on buying, but it was, too, it was a pretty good deal, right? They, these people are getting ready to leave, and I saw this set right here. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 1 through 23 uh, on there. And he's like, you know, we're, the con is getting ready to close. He's like, we're making deals. He's like, what are you feeling? And I was like, oh, I got a few of these issues. So the original price on this was $80. I paid 50 bucks for that. So what do you guys think in the comments below? Do you think I overpaid? or not. Remember, it's just got the first issue, the silver. I don't know if it's got another one in there. I know it has issue 13, which is an homage to this. So it's great. I may have a few of these books, but again, I think for $2 a book, I think it's not bad. So that was the thing that I picked up literally on the way out. So that was pretty cool. Okay. And then let's see what else I got in here. So I'll try to keep everything in one space. Was the one thing that I got. So Comic Central was there, obviously the local shop was at the con and I wound up getting this 9-6 of Amazing Spider-Man issue, uh, what is it, 304 and it's a newsstand copy. So I thought that was pretty cool, right? Yeah. Not bad, gotta support the local shop. So I thought that was, I thought that was reasonably priced. And then we got the comics that I purchased, which is this stack right here. So let's go over that here. We're gonna put this All right. So let's see. There's some books in here I can't show you because <laughs> there's nudity in them. Uh, those are the books I got from Comics Elite. But the first book I wound up getting was a set. It was together, and there was Wolverine issue one, which this has been one of the books. I've wanted on my list for I couldn't tell you how long. Um, and I wound up getting this. And you see the price tag on there. And then I saw this, which was Wolverine issue eight. Both these books I've been wanting forever, but I wanted a reasonable price for them. 
And so the guy wound up giving me both, both of these for 80 bucks. So I think that was pretty much worth it. This book is in really good shape. This one is in pretty good shape as well. And it's books that I wanted. So can't beat that, right? And then, um, was it Sam De La Rosa? I think that was his name. Uh, has a variant out and he signed it. It's one in 1,000. Uh, guy gave me this book. He's like, yeah, there is literally only a thousand of these made. He saw me that I was recording and he was like, you can't go wrong with this. So I was like, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. So I was excited about that one, right? Awesome. Yeah, that's a really sick cover. Like, look at that, man. That is nice. So you can see the signature on there. And then I met Jim Shooter. He was like the only guy there doing signatures when the place first opened. And he was a little, he was a little upset because he was like behind in setting up because he was doing stuff and he lost track of time. But Jim Shooter is a nice guy, man. He was showing me some sketches and stuff. We get to see that he signed this book. I picked up Secret Wars issue nine. I don't think I have this issue. I could be wrong. It does have a certificate of authenticity with it as well. But Jim Shooter, you know, old school Marvel, you know, I was like, he did great work. And he's like, I couldn't have done it with the team that I had at the time. He's like, they were absolutely phenomenal. So wind up getting that right there. All right. The one I can show you from uh, Drew from Comics Elite, because it's not exposing anything there's your naughty cover so just think about a, a bunch of those okay so that's what i wanted to getting for that and it was from born of blood so not usually my thing but he gave them to me for like for free so how can i pass that up right and then i wound up getting these two also which they gave me for free so we got this these two covers I think these are, he said these were preview books. I think yeah. that's what he said for books that's upcoming with them. So I was like, oh, that's, that's pretty nice. So I love those comics. Even if they're previews, they're great covers. So I want to get in that. Um, yeah, those are naughties. And then the last thing I wound up getting was Ariel Diaz. Um, she had a variant cover for Hollow's Eve issue one that came out. And uh, I love this cover. And being that Hollow's Eve is a brand new character, I thought this one is one of the better covers of the character. And uh, she signed it as well. And uh, she was very tired and she was looking forward to going back home to Texas. And she just got back from lunch when she signed this for me. Gotta love that cover there. So does she put on that mask and she becomes Spider-Man? That would be kind of weird because Brayden, she's a brand new character and she's like a supernatural character. So she has like Dracula mask, a werewolf mask, Frankenstein mask, and she has them in this little pouch. And so when she puts them on, she gains those people's powers. So yeah, so it's like she's got that Spider-Man mask there. So I thought that was really neat. So, and, and that's it. That's everything that I picked up at the con. Like I said, had a blast. I am freaking exhausted though. We did so much walking. We, you know, it took like a 20 minute break, but hey, it's all good. So do you want to get ready to go back next year? Yep. Yep. We talked about it. Maybe Brayden is going to get another sword and he's going to start collecting them every year. So that's that. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and everything, all the little footage that I showed you. And until next time, guys, I'm going to share with you another video right here in between us. And of course, guys, as always, keep buying, keep collecting, but more importantly, always read your comics. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.